Hi, welcome to my clinical theater. I love all the materials we have to use today. I'm just like a kid in a tree house of dental materials and with the software and the CAD cam and all the imaging devices I have, particularly the prime scan, I'm in what I call digital heaven. I'm a real fan of zirconia. I started with the high strength zirconias and the Speedfire and I struggled because, you know, I like the aesthetics, I like the function, but you know, I was placing pretty much marble tops into the mouth. And then I started the infiltration process using different brands and I've become much more proficient and it's a lot more predictable process for me now. Whenever I'm doing zirconia, Infiltration is always an asset for me when I need to make things blend, whether it be high strength or these new higher aesthetic zirconias, Zircad Multi, the future coming Zircad Prime. I still like infiltration because I can embed and enhance the multi effect, particularly the saturation in the cervical one half and also the grooves <laughs> on the occlusal surface. So this video will demonstrate using what we call Zircad coloring system on a multi block. I like using this approach when I want that richer saturation in the cervical area of the restoration and it embeds into the restoration and often will look better than stain and glaze. So stain and glaze for me is just a highlighting characterization that I need, but the base of color saturation I like with infiltration, no matter which block I'm using in the zirconia field. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. It's really easy to do. My favorite way of adding that extra warmth and saturation cervically is infiltration. Here we are using the Zircad Coloring LT Infiltration. This is A2. We start with the internal surface, apply one or two coats that will create a nice warm cervical margin. Orthodontic wax, that's my favorite way to hold these restorations. This provides great access to those external surfaces. A2, coloring liquid, one to two coats at the cervical margin and in the depths of the external primary grooves. Then lightly feather one application up into the mid body that creates a nice transitional gradation providing a more effective multi appearance. Here's a basic concept to remember. The depths of the grooves, both external and occlusally, enamel is thinner. We'll see a little more of a detinal glow. One to two applications with the A2 coloring will provide a nice, soft detinal color at the depths of those grooves and pits. With color in the brush, dab the tip of that brush into those grooves and pits. As that brush spreads out, it creates a nice natural gradation of where your most saturated color is at the depth and then it fades into the triangular ridges. Just this one application will make a huge difference in the way our restoration will appear. Clean the brush with distilled water. Now we're gonna go with violet. Violet is used sparingly on the cusp tips. It provides a little more of a translucent appearance on the line angles around the cusp. One application. I love violet. It brings vitality into those cusp tips. Clean the brush between applications of colors, distilled water. Now we're gonna use brown. Brown is carefully placed on that cervical margin, one application, otherwise it gets too brown. <laughs> 
the brown will create that nice natural transition as you would see enamel going into the root area often these crowns are subgingival so if we do see recession in the future it will appear natural in one application in the central groove and pits and there's our infiltration step we will fire this as a wet zirconia with the speed fire we just use the pre-drying and centering cycle it will add 10 minutes make sure that you let the restoration cool down before retrieving this is a diamond four set this is always fun I'm looking forward to the next step, and that's finishing and polishing. <laughs>